Hi guys and welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be upgrading this iPod Classic 4th generation to a SSD. Now that basically means we're going to be upgrading it to a flash memory as opposed to the old hard drive. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So you're going to need a couple of things for this project. First of all is the battery, the most important thing of all I think. This will give your iPod a fresh new battery life and it should last for hours and hours on end. The next thing are a couple of tools. So we've got a T6 torque screw and a spudger, both of which come with your battery fortunately, which makes life easy. Next up, we've got a compact flash to 1.8 IDE converter. Now I'll put the links to all of these in the descriptions, but basically this just converts compact flash to the hard drive slot basically. And you need a compact flash to SD adapter, again link will be in description. And then you obviously need your SD card, so this is the SD card adapter and the micro SD card to go in. I'm using a 64 gigabytes, but you can use whatever you like. So first of all you want to grab your micro SD card and your adapter and you want to put it inside making sure the SD card is unlocked. Next up, you want to slide the SD card into the compact flash to SD card adapter. And finally, you want to grab your compact flash to 1.8 IDE and slot it in like so. You want to grab your iPod and the spudger tool that came with the battery and you want to work it in to try and release the top of the iPod cover. There's lots of videos on the internet showing you how to do this. It's just a trial and error basis, really. When you manage to open it up, you want to open both sides like a book because there is a ribbon cable that connects the headphone jack and the hold switch to the motherboard and you want to be careful this doesn't break. There's a ribbon cable attaching the hard drive to the motherboard, you just want to unplug the hard drive and put that aside. Next up you want to grab your T6 torque screw and undo the screw shown on camera next to the battery connector. Next up, grab your spudger tool and lever out the old battery. Lift the wires from underneath the motherboard and unplug it from the connector. Now grab your new battery, plug it in, put the wires underneath the motherboard, sit it in place and put the screw back in. Now you need to plug the converters into where the hard drive used to be, ensuring that you leave four empty pins on the left side. Now you're ready to close the lid on the iPod, but before you do so, make sure you put a piece of bubble wrap or foam just to stop the whole thing from rattling around once closed. Now grab your USB to 30 pin connector cable and plug it into your iPod and open up iTunes. At this point you'll be greeted with the option to restore your iPod from factory settings, just follow the instructions to do so. You'll now get an icon appear on your screen telling you to plug it into the mains. And just like that, all you now need to do is select your language and you're all done. And just like that, you've got yourself a completely flash modded iPod Classic 4th generation. If you guys got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Until next time guys, see you later. 